This is such a beautiful area. So much to offer. We all are guilty of driving through. Hey guys, I think that's our ride. Hey, are you Andy? Yeah, good morning. How do you do? Oh, I'm so let me take you to Robertson. Oh, let me know, oh, 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 where to go, where to go. Out these walls now for a day. I love the road and I love the stars always. And though, oh, 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 won't you let me know? We played it to a very special place here at McGregor. This is Yeselki's Rest. Yeselki's Rest is where abused and abandoned donkeys have been rescued and they're giving them a good retirement and a good life. I love donkeys, but donkeys don't love me. I always get bitten by donkeys, but let me be brave and I'm going to go and say hi to a donkey. I'm feeling very brave because here Juanita, who takes care of the donkeys, she's the donkey whisperer, is going to introduce me to the donkeys. So I don't feel scared about donkeys anymore because they love her and she'll be in front. Okay, so she's going to tell us what they do here. Hi guys what they do here with donkeys hi everyone welcome to the donkey sanctuary Yeselki's Rest donkey sanctuary we're close to McGregor here in the Longaberg district these are our donkeys and we mainly take in uh, previously abandoned neglected or abused donkeys and they come and retire with us never to be worked again beaten again or mistreated again and we also never rehome them after they have come to the sanctuary Oh, well, this is so sweet. I'm in the middle of a, a, a menage of donkeys. <laughs> we have a special treat today. We have Anna Marie, and she's one of the parents of the donkeys here at the Donkey Sanctuary. So, Anna Marie, how did it all begin? Thank you, Alistair, for coming. It started when we moved to McGregor. There were some donkeys who needed care, and we were asked to take them in. And that started the idea of help for old donkeys who can't work anymore. I believe at the time there wasn't a sanctuary like for donkeys. No, um, when they were too old to work, they were just left to their own devices, which is rather cruel and very really hard on them. And we realized there are a lot of donkeys that need help when they get too old or if they're neglected. And we realized people need to learn about donkeys. Today we are standing in front of the old Dutch Reformed Church in an area that used to be called Lady Grey. It was named after a beloved priest. He was originally from Scotland, Andrew McGregor. Today, this whole area is called McGregor. So welcome to McGregor. This is pretty much an old Dutch style house with a handle this low. But 300 years ago, the Dutch people were the shortest people in the world, average. And of course, handles being this low. Today, the average tallest person in the world is Dutch. We're in the gardens of Demos. These gardens are tranquil, beautiful. They've got little temples all over the place, encompassing all the different religions. So if you need a place to escape from the city, from the noise, this is amazing. This is something for the soul. sacred space. It's a six-sided room and it gives you the time to think, to meditate. It's very quiet, very tranquil. My African queen, you should come visit here tomorrow. Woo. Hey look, what one man discards or nature discards is another man's gold. We're going to go and show you in the studio here how they've used these amazing things from nature and upcycled them into something which is gold, art. So we're here with Lorraine. You are African queen. So what inspired you to do what you have done? Well, I'll tell you, um, we used to be a business that made clothing 
and hand painted clothing for the mm -hmm. national and the international market. And then 2008, 2009, we had power cuts. The whole country was locked down. I remember. Yeah. So we had to think out of the box now because our machines were standing still. So I went outside, looked around, and I came up with this. Yeah, Karanda pot. Yeah. It's just such a beautiful shape and exquisite form. And that inspired me. And eventually it came to this. So McGregor was built as a connecting town between Robertson and Grayton. This road from where we are is about 13 kilometers until it gets to nowhere. So I'm on the road to nowhere. So with every great location, there's always a legend or a particular story. And here at Van Leuven, this is the story of the tangle tree. So in 1941, the wife, her name was Jean, brought this tree from KwaZulu-Natal. And she was so excited and she came to her husband, his name was Henny, and he said, I have got the Rusland seer. He took a look at it, looked again and said, my sweetheart, that's a career tree. And you know, they had this very colorful disagreement and at the end of the day the funny thing about everything is it's the same tree and they planted the two next to each other and now it has grown intertwined as one tree and to celebrate the legend of this tree from the original owners they have actually created a wine range which is called the tangle tree that's one of the interesting facts that you can enjoy when you walk through this garden Oma's garden. Every tree has a story. Alistair, that was very interesting facts about that tree. I'm glad you enjoyed it. How about an activity? What about mountain biking? Oh let's yes, go. let's do it. settings, 100 year old wine tanks that were actually rediscovered by mistake. Talking about wine tanks, these are underground tanks that were specifically used to ferment the muscadel. Absolutely correct and I remember these tanks were like coated with beeswax which makes perfect sense. Talking about scents, sitting here with the wine pairing, the senses of visuals, different aromas that comes through all the oh, wine. Yes, yes. That makes sense. We are called Yunsdruf. It's one of the gems that you can actually bring your family to. And the best thing is, you don't have to come with a picnic bag. The food is right here. They have a deli on top. Ah, yes, Kim coming. Alistair, stop talking so much. Let's go, let's yeah, but go. But that's we not enough. It. We need more food. He's Alistair. coming, he's coming. He's more on the way. Go, oh, I'm loving this. Let's get on here. Come on, come on. I want to make sure the food is on. Okay, let's get moving. The Breuder River, also known as the Breuder River, is the lifeblood of this region. It's 337 kilometers long and flows all the way down to the Indian Ocean. Lots of activities happen in and around this river, so it's waiting just for you to come and enjoy it too. Guys, wasn't that an awesome time on the river? And Marius, thank you very much. You're a great skipper. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I enjoyed myself having lunch on the river, and it's the Breda River. Yes. But somebody told me that Donna Niehaus lives on this river. Is that yes, true? Yes, true. Yes, it's still down there. Down this way. Should we yes. go find him? Yes, let's hey, go. Hey, let's there. go. Cheers, my man. Thank, Thank you. you. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here with one of the real ambassadors for the Robertson Wine Valley, the famous, undisputable Danny Niels. Thank you very much. Danny, I grew up over the decades listening to your music. It makes me wonder what brought a legend like yourself from the city to Robertson. Well, I followed the scent 
of a beautiful woman. Ooh. But once here, I was so happy because I love the outdoors. I love mountaineering, climbing, hiking, biking, swimming, skiing, playing golf. I can do all these things here. So this is a wonderful place. There's lots of places to eat, to drink. Central. Dine. Would you encourage locals to stop in Robertson to I come would. and find out the Definitely. gems? I think most people follow the Route 62, which is now an international famous route. But they never stop over in Robertson long enough to discover all the wonderful things here. So basically, this is a treasure chest of different gems that you can experience if you stay here. Where to go? We are really excited to go to dance with tipi tents. It's going to be great fun being there. I'm looking forward to the archery. And it's going to be close to nature. It has no eco footprint. It's excellent. Let's go, guys, and get close to yes. <laughs> we at Asakai Rest uh, Farm. We are going to be enjoying this lovely teepees with Andre. Andre, what gave you the idea for this? Well, I like the, the shape of it, the design of it, and when you're inside, the architectural look of the poles and uh, how it actually opens up when you get inside. It's much bigger inside than what it looks on the outside, and they're unique, they're beautiful. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about archery, archery. and various bows and arrows and how they work, and you'll have an opportunity to shoot and uh, see how it goes from there. It's like throwing a stone. I can't tell you how to aim if I ask you to hit that dot with a stone. But you know how. It's all in the mind, it's all subconscious. So look at the target, draw here, and when you're ready, the release is basically just to relax your fingers. When you draw, it's less about the arm muscles, more shoulder muscles and back. You want to bring your shoulder blades together, use your back muscles. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm here with Peter today, and Peter makes our famous South African Feldskuna. Feldskuna, the finished product, is this one here. But what he does is, Peter, you start off with the leather first. Yes. And you cut up the leather. So he cuts <coughs> the leather into different pieces. Now, the Feldskun can either be the flat leather, the smooth leather, or it can be the suede on the other side. So he's already done a fabulous job here, cutting up the pieces into all the components for the left and right shoe. So this is a component for a small little shoe. And then what they do is they stitch all of these components together until you have it in the form of a shoe. Then they put the form around the shoe and they've cut now a base and then they sew that onto the base like that. And at the bottom, obviously you have your rubber. So the glue here is used obviously to put between that and then he's incredible because they hand stitch all of this around here. So you end up with this fantastic shoe which everybody in South Africa knows about. They called Feldskuna. We're going through lockdown, companies are closing down. These guys have decided not only to make shoes but also to go to other options. Kathy over here is stitching and preparing some masks. So uh, Kathy has done this, looking cool and breathable. Kathy, how do I look? <laughs> fine. Cool. Kathy says I look fine. I've been hanging south these walls now for a day. I love the road and I love the stars. Oh. So thank you for traveling with us on this episode of Robertson. Robertson episode 2 is going to be out soon, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and push that notification bell on YouTube so that you don't miss it. Ciao for now. Where to go?